me, um, and, um, I don't really usually make videos like this at all, um, uh, sorry, my hair was in the way, um, and I'm gonna do this the best of my ability without crying, um, but, I am asking for prayer, so please pray to whatever god or goddess you worship, um, I'm sorry, this is a very emotional subject for me, um, my dog is, is really sick today, um, she was storming up this morning and she had really bad diarrhea and we took her to the vet and the vet said that she has pancreatitis and they gave her some medicine for it and everything and they gave her some fluids um that go underneath the skin so that it it stays there and it'll slowly deplay over time over um a few hours i think over 24 hours they said um but they said this to be to make sure she's not dehydrated and everything she doesn't get dehydrated and I'm sorry I'm kind but my dog it's like my dog is my baby um and I'm just I'm really nervous she's a little a little dog a little 11 11 pound dog and you know she's just I'm sorry guys um to to see her so sick it kills me it really does like I wish it were me instead of her um, if there was any way possible for me to take whatever she had from her and give it to myself, I would do it in a heartbeat. I just hate that she's so sick. I hate that she's just so, just so sick. I hate that she's sick in general. So, I'm just, uh, please pray. Please just pray to whatever god or goddess you worship. Just make sure she makes it through his sickness and gets over it and doesn't relapse um and uh for everybody that's feeding their dog table scraps please um reconsider because if you feed them too much I mean every now and again it's okay um but we were my dog doesn't like to eat dog food she's a picky dog she's a really picky dog um and we have to, she won't eat wet food. I don't know why she won't eat wet food. Um, we tried to give her wet food as a puppy and she just turned her nose up at it and she only eats dry food. Um, but they said that because we're feeding her so much table scraps, um, that it's, it's, the fat is, is a little tougher for their digestive system to break it down. Like, like if, if a human's to eat fat, our digestive system can break it down and process it more but a dog's digestive tract is so sensitive that it can't do that it can't break down the high fats that are in certain foods um so her pancreas was basically working overtime um to break down these fats and it couldn't so what's happening is her pancreas is getting the vet said so the best the vet told us that our pancreas is getting angry, um, because it can't break down these foods, and it's just, it's so inflamed, and, um, we caught it just in time, the vet said, you know, you caught it just in time, it's a good thing, um, because my mom noticed that she had, like, really runny diarrhea, and I know this is a little TMI, but, um, my mom had noticed that she had some really bad diarrhea, um, leaking from her, from her behind, just, like, oozing out, and, uh, we took her to the vet today, um, earlier, well, a few hours ago today, we took her at, like, 12, and we took her at, like, 11, 12 o'clock, and they saw us right away, um, and, um, the vet basically said that it's, uh, pancreatitis I think she said I'm not I'm not sure um but they said they they gave her some fluids they gave her some uh finagrin for dogs um they gave it another name but they said it's basically a finagrin um oh I'm sorry 
but they said it's basically a fenugrin, um, and they gave her antibiotics to, per to um, prevent a secondary infection. Um, uh, they said as long as she's drinking and eating, then we don't really have to worry. And the vet said that I wouldn't take, I wouldn't be sending her home if I didn't feel confident that she wasn't going to be okay. Um, she said, but she, she should be fine. She should be perfectly fine. Um, so the vet sent her home with us. Uh, she said they gave us the emergency number. So if anything goes wrong, then we can call the emergency number. Um, but they said if she stops eating and she starts vomiting because they gave her an anti uh nausea and vomiting medicine um they said if she if she starts vomiting more than what she has been within the 24 hours then to call that emergency number and take her in immediately because they, she may have to have surgery <laughs> which I'm hoping it doesn't it doesn't get to that I'm hoping that it calm down and my poor puppy doesn't have to go through this again I mean I I hate it when anybody's sick I hate it when my mom and dad are sick I hate it when my brother are sick I hate it when my cats are sick I hate it when I'm sick personally if I had the choice of being sick or being shot in the foot I would rather being shot I would rather be shot in the foot that is how much I hate being sick and it's like I said, if there were a way to somehow take away whatever she has and pass it to me, you know, I'd rather it be me than her because she's just a little thing, a little tiny thing, and it's it's not fair that she has to go through this like she does, so, um, again, I'm sorry, uh, for the emotions, I'm just, I've never... I've never had an animal this sick before. It's it's really hard on me. Um uh she she won't drink from her bowl. She won't drink any water from her bowl, so I had to take a cup of water and put it put some uh bottled water in there and some ice and scoop it out with a plastic spoon as she would lap up the water from the plastic spoon. She had a total of four spoonfuls of water, which is good. It she's keeping up dehydration and everything. She's still got a little diarrhea. Um, they gave her a anti diarrhea medicine, so if she gets more than what she's doing, um, then we have to give her that. And they gave her um a low fat it's I D. Um clinically proven. It's a, it's a You'd have to look it up, but it's, um, a low-fat, easy-to-digest, um, dog food for dogs and cats, um, and they gave us two cans of it in a, uh, eight-pound bag, um, and the vet said that when we're ready to switch her to her regular food, we have to mix in the low-fat food with the regular food and just give it to her like that until she basically eats it, um, and she's just, she's really on a really strict diet. Um, they said if she doesn't eat the food, then to just do, go out and get some brown rice. Um, they said not the Minute Maid brown rice, but just regular brown rice. Um, not the 10 minute, 5 minute, 10 minute, instant Minute rice, Minute Maid rice. Uh, they said nothing like that. Not the bag rice, the boiling bag rice. She said not to do that. Um. She said, but just get some rice, some brown rice, and some chicken, some bland chicken. Don't season it or anything, and just give it to her. Um, she's doing a lot better now, so she's in my mom's room right now. Um, guys, I'm just, I'm really nervous. Uh, just please, 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 if there's anything you can do, please pray for my little puppy. I just want her better. I just want her running around and playing again and... I just hope she gets through this. Bye, guys.